Good afternoon, boys and girls. It's Mr. Price here, and today you're in for a bit of a treat. Today, for story time, you don't get one story. You don't get two stories. You get three different stories. And today they're coming from a series of books that I have recently fallen back in love with after sort of forgetting that they were so interesting and so uh, uh, unique. So, today's stories are from the series by Ted Pryor and they are called Grug. So, today you're getting Grug, you're getting Grug builds a car, and then you get Grug and the rainbow. So, they're fairly short, so I thought I'd give you a couple, or a few. So, here we go. Grug, by Ted Pryor. Hmm. Nice and quiet, okay? Grug, by Ted Pryor. Once the top of a Barawong tree fell to the ground. And the grassy top began to change. It became... Grug. Grug. Away he went to look for a place to live. What a beautiful tree. He went through the forest through the snow until he reached a green mountain. There Grug found a deserted hol hollow burrow. He found a deserted burrow. <laughs> he worked. And worked. To make a fireplace. Mm -hmm. Then he made a bed of grass. Nice and comfy. Grug's house was almost finished. What else did he need? Hmm, I wonder. A letter box. What a cool letter box. He's just made it out of sticks. What a legend. So that was Grug. The next one is this one. One of my favourites. Grug builds a car. Also by Ted Pryor. Grug builds a car. <laughs> Grug was reading about cars. He decided to build a car. Grug nailed some wooden planks together. He found some old bicycle wheels and put them on the back of his car. Daddy. It's pretty lucky, isn't it? Daddy, I love you. <laughs> I love you too. And <laughs> he made a steering wheel and joined it to the front with string. 
pretty handy. Grug painted the car in bright colours. He called it a Grugmobile. Grug put on his driving cap and goggles. He gave a push with his feet and the car rolled downhill. Kara was in the way, so she went for a drive too. Over the bridge they went. They stopped, rolled backwards over the bridge again and back up the other side. The Grugmobile sped down the hill again. But this time, Grug missed the bridge. Splash. This is a bridge. This is a bridge. It's a bridge, alright. We've been learning about bridges. This one's a beam bridge. Why don't you make a boat instead? asked Kara. Nice. Good on you, Grug. He's pretty handy. Alrighty. And the last Grug story for today is called Grug and the Rainbow by Ted Pryor. <laughs> Always happy reading. The sky turned dark. It began to rain. Grug hurried inside. It's like he's moved his letterbox. To sit in front of his warm, cosy fire. When the rain stopped and the sun came out, Grug sloshed through the wet grass. He looked up and he was surprised to see beautiful coloured stripes across the sky. It is a surprise. Grug went for a closer look. But the stripes moved away. He tried sneaking up on them. <laughs> he tried running after them. But the stripes moved even further away. Hmm. Poor Grug. Then Grug knew what he could do. He worked hard, soaring, hammering, and painting. At last he made his very own rainbow. Good on you, Grug. What a legend. So, that was Grug. Grug builds a car and Grug and the rainbow. All by Ted Pryor. I hope you really enjoyed them and I hope that I will see you again tomorrow. Bye everyone.